Hello. So I'm going to help you create within FileMaker a fall term only database where we'll have the records for uh, the school year fall term September 1 through December 30th. This is due July 25th, so we're going to break up a database um, into a fall term for our, for our participation numbers. The first thing I'm going to do is create a separate database file and put it in its own folder so I know things are um, in a place. It's not my master copy. I'm going to save a copy as, um, I'm going to call it fall term. So I'm out here in my own database. I'm going to keep it in a folder called fall term database. And you'll notice that I have a summer database open, so I need to uh, go open that other one. Here it is. You'll see I use my password and now I have the fall term database open. What I'm going to do is remove records, remove attendance records so that I can get just the records I need to report on participation in fall term. So I need records from September 1 to December 30th. My current database, my copy, has records from July 1, 2015, all the way through the year. So I got to get rid of the ones before and after these dates that I need. I'm going to erase the records from the summer, then erase the records from the spring, and I'll end up with the records I need in order to report in the federal system. So to get rid of those summer records, I'm going to go to Scripts Related Tables. I'm going to go Attendance Records List View. I'm going to perform a find. I click Find. I'm going to double click in the date attended field. I'm going to get rid of my summer records. My summer started in this database July 1, 15. Now I'm going to go three dots, dot, 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 and the date range that I'm getting rid of is the end of the summer. My programs begin September 1, so I'm going to get rid of the, all these summer records. There's my date range, 7 one 15, 15 perform the find. Now in my database, it's just a sample, there's one record. In yours, there are going to be lots and lots of them. You can see it's showing one out of 464. Um, I can delete the record, and I'm going to delete them. Um, or, uh, where's the other place where you delete all the records here? Records. Um, delete found records. Yes. I'm in a sample database. I just got rid of the summer. I'm going to perform the other dates I need to get rid of. Double click. It's going to be 1, 1, 16, dot, 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 um, 6, 30, 16. Perform find. Okay, I have a lot of spring records, so I'm going to get rid of all these. Delete the found set. Again, I've backed up this database. It's a fall term only. Delete them all. I'm down to my 285 records, which are now making up my um, fall database. Okay, I closed out of it, but I'm going to open it back up. So I now have fall records. This entire database is just my fall records for participation. We messed with the attendance records, so we're just working on the participation piece of the equation here to report. Let's go to reports. Remember, this database was designed before federal reporting. I'm in reports. I'm going to the student tab. The reason I'm bringing that up is what we have now are just our fall records. So these words now, both after school year, the whole year, and the summer, is our entire database. So we want to show all the records in the database, just our fall records. That's, that's what's clicked now. And we can then adjust the days for this fall term. This might as well be saying fall term right now, because that's what we created. And again, like the summer, we're going to use these, these reports to report on what is now the fall term, the summary report for fall term, and the detail report if you need it for fall term. Hope that was helpful. If you need other information, you can go to the wiki, of course, um, and see uh, other resources.